My name is Mike Zito, and I'm based in Nederland, Texas, the Nederland. And um, you know, it's uh, I'm certainly blues-based. I grew up, uh, I grew up listening to a lot of rock and roll, Americana, country, a lot of all the different styles of American music. So, uh, although I have a lot of music based in blues, uh, depending on the song, it could be uh, different genres in the American, you know, culture. Well, my definition of blues music, I guess I would have to say I have a few. I mean, historically, I would have to go back and, and, and consider that it's derived from, uh, you know, African uh, slaves that were brought over, and uh, they are teaching uh, Irish immigrants and Scottish immigrants and poor Europeans, and they're they're kind of playing music together, and you know, there's that there's the whole historic history of the style of where you get hillbilly music and you get blues music and it kind of spurs off into blues and country and um, to me blues music is um, you know it's the truth it's honest sometimes it's painful sometimes uh, it makes you feel good uh, sometimes uh, you know uh, it makes you think but it's always the truth. It's always about a real feeling and an emotion. So as modern music goes on, I mean, there's certainly always musicians or artists that will take up the tradition, say, of the older style uh, music. Uh, but I still like to think that there is modern blues today, even if it has other musical influences uh, incorporated in it. If the honesty is there, if the suffering is there, if the the story is there. The, um, to me, that's that's what the blues is. I think, I like to think right. that um, on, Matt, I've been sober now for almost 16 years, with no drugs or alcohol, and um, that's been a real process in my life. So I've had to learn to be very honest <laughs> with everything I do, and um, it's it's helped me with my music. And, and one thing I've learned that uh, people, when people can relate to you, um, you're, you're being truthful. You know, when I'm just making some stuff up and kind of using my ego or whatever, it's, 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 it's fluff. But when I'm really sharing something about myself, 
uh, people recognize it because they uh, they can hear maybe they hear the music of the words and it becomes their song. Well, I tried real hard, dog. I was digging deep in the dirt. Yeah, then love come and save me. Pull me up by my shirt, baby. I got a second chance at living a first class life. You know, I try to think that I'm vulnerable on stage m most of the time. Of course, there are some things that are just easier, maybe more fun. Uh, so maybe the vulnerability is that uh, I don't really know what I'm going to play guitar-wise. Try to leave it a little loose and try to be in the moment, let the audience be a part of it. But certainly the most vulnerable is when I'm singing. Uh, maybe a song like Gone to Texas. Uh, which is a story, you know, about me moving to the state of Texas and getting uh, sober and off drugs there. And um, so, you know, it's hard to sing that song and not and be carefree about it because it's not a carefree song. Uh, and I find that people will recognize that in that song, uh, that it tends to move them. Um, and that makes me feel good. I know I have music that I like that moves me. So to think that I have music that someone else is moved by is humbling. I, I would say that music got me into trouble and music got me out of trouble. Uh, I definitely got myself in trouble, for sure. Uh, but, you know, I went about everything wrong, like a child does. I uh, was very excited about the glitz and glamour of rock and roll and, uh, you know, sex and drugs and all the things that seem so fun. Uh, some of them are fun. <laughs> um, but I, I really honestly got to a point in my own uh, addiction or when I decided that I needed to stop, I was willing to not play music anymore. And that's how bad it had gotten. That I thought, well, I'll, if I never play music again, I, that's fine, because I have to stay alive. Um, and then I found out that I could play music again. And it completely changed my life, Com changed everything. The music took on a much greater value, deeper meaning, and, um, and I had something to write about, to write songs about. I need to find out that girl's lead. You know I do. I got a second chance at living a first class life, yeah. A second chance at living a first class life. A second chance at living a first class life, baby. The whole reason to tour and to travel and to play, of course, we're fortunate that I have to pay my bills. But the idea is that we're trying to bring joy to the world. I don't care how corny that sounds. Uh, it's an honor to get to play music for people. And uh, my goal is that people leave feeling better than they did when they got there. You know, and we're going to do whatever we can do to lift their spirits and, uh, you know, because they lift ours. You know, when people come out and it's a real give and take thing. That's that's why live music is so important to me. So the message to me is to bring the joy. That's what the band says all the time. It's time to bring the joy. Hey, this is Mike Zito. We have been enjoying a fantastic tour all over Europe, and we're here now in Nederland, one of my favorite places. You are listening to the Blues Radio, the best of the blues. I hope you enjoy it, and thank you. Peace.